If you remember, a couple of years ago, people started saying K instead of OK. In the beginning, this really got my goat. It also made a lot of my friends angry. We didn't like this K business. We were OK people, strictly OK. We did not accept single letter substitutes of OK. Maybe it was some kind of a hangover. K seemed to be the sort of thing that people who wrote in SMS language used. You know SMS language, otherwise known as SMSEs, not to be confused with the SMEs. But that's not the point. What was the point? Yeah, so we associated K with a certain kind of people. A kind of people we look down upon. I'm not particularly sure why we look down upon them. Remember when grammar Nazis were cool, like everyone wanted to be a grammar... Oh, no, I don't remember such a time, sorry. <laughs> My opinion of K has changed over the years. As I've grown older, wiser and less sexually active. K is freedom. K is so okay that I don't have to spell okay completely. Like things are so good, I can just skip on the O and be cool with it. Is it okay if I bring KFC today? K, like it's cool dude, you can do whatever you want. It's, it's okay, it's not such a big decision. Even if I said no, you could buy KFC. Like it doesn't matter, chill, it's K. And then there's that things are so chill that I will write K multiple times, which is K K K K K. It's got enthusiasm. Okay, okay, okay sounds terrible. Okay, okay, okay sounds like go away, shut up. Okay, 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 I'll do what you want. But K K K K K, that sounds like it has energy, it has enthusiasm, it has. I want to end this conversation because we are on the same page, on the same fucking book, in the same fucking library. Let's just close this. It's done. No, what you said is absolutely right. K K K K K K K.